Um, my name is Bryant So. I am a senior at Princeton. My name is Michelle Yoon. I'm a junior at Princeton. I'm Johanna. I am the violist of the group. I'm from Los Angeles. Um, I study uh, neuroscience at Princeton. My name is Ian Kim. Uh, I study econ at, or economics at Princeton University. I'm a senior currently and I play the cello. I think mostly I'm a neuro major because I play music. I think as a kid I was convinced that like playing music somehow changed my brain. Anything you do with repetition gets mapped into your brain in some some way. Your neurons start to fire synchronously and you start to make new connections. And that's so, so interesting to me. So that's why I study neuroscience. My mom said, absolutely not. Like, you never want to play the viola. There's no melody, there's nothing. And I was like, okay, my mom doesn't want me to do it, but I'll do it, so sign me up. I told my parents, like, I really want to play that instrument uh, because it sounded so nice. The tonality of the instrument was the thing that really got to me. For three of us, it's our final year playing together, which is actually very sad. Um, we uh, got together, we were founded um, uh, our freshman fall, um, and so we've been playing for pretty much all, uh, besides COVID, pretty much all four years of Princeton. So um, I think it's really nice to, you know, be able to have a concert that's uh, kind of, um, I don't know, yeah, <laughs> it's something that we can remember for, for a long time. interested in the intersection between genetic engineering and policy so I'm looking to go to law school after I graduate and or pursue a PhD. I'm not sure how a young student would pursue music as a hobby in Korea. I really wanted to go to conservatory when I was in like senior year of high school because uh, especially because all my friends were going to conservatory especially like in my cello studio. Besides being the odd one out I still wanted to just go to conservatory because I wanted music to be a big part of my life like the majority of my life uh, but somehow I, I ended up here <laughs> um, through you know parental um, I guess, insist.
I'm also like an only child, so all the focus is concentrated on me. Uh, so there's nothing really I could, I can't, I can't pull any excuses or anything. Uh, orchestral music is very much a dictatorship under one baton. All musical ideas, all voices are silenced because the pervading voice is one conductor. And this makes sense because there's 150 of us in, in the orchestra. Um, but chamber music, on the other hand, is like we have a small group and we all have a thousand different ideas. As a violinist, there, I mean, obviously you can play first violin or second violin, and I think letting go of my ego was a hard <laughs> transition, especially when I was in high school, because I wanted to be the star of the show, but obviously um, that it doesn't work that way in chamber music. So, yeah, for me, it was, a very humbling experience. My parents forced me to play the violin, absolutely. I think at an early age, I don't think any young child really wanted to practice. I loved music for sure. Um, I would always, I remember when I was really young, I would always stop by, uh, when I was just walking by restaurants, they'd be playing music and I would just always stop and listen or I'd, I'd really enjoy listening to my parents sing karaoke and stuff. The violin was just really hard, I think, at a, at a young age, and to have the patience and such was, was a little bit difficult. But I think I really started to appreciate the violin when I was maybe like 16 or 17, so like 11 years, 12 years after I uh, began. But um, I think, uh, especially now when I don't have as much time to practice, um, I really, really value my time with, with the instrument a lot. Um, and I, I, I wish that I had um, had the discipline that I do now uh, playing the violin when I was younger.
I can't imagine it ever leaving my life. I think that music is is a very much a like piece of heaven on earth. Like it's it really it's just like it, music is so much the language of emotions, and this is why like this is why music is so important. Like you can be your your world can become like the most scientific thing in the world, but if you don't have the arts, then there's there's no emotion, there's no music, there's no empathy. No, 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 no.